evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for all for coming. Before I read my speech, I wanted to acknowledge the hard work that these students have done in the last two, three months. They volunteered to write these essays and they have met Deputy Director Amoroso and they were very impressed. You're gonna hear some of these details. Uh, so my name is Adib Mansour. A lot of people call me Bluebeard. I don't know why, I've always wondered. Um, as the chair of the Roosevelt Island Resident Association, I have a committee called the Children, Youth and Education Committee. I always strive to get the youth of the island engaged in their community and open their minds to endless possibilities for a bright future. It has been my real privilege to coach the students of the Child Center of New York. I've been coaching them a fun and educational program we call Soccer for Success. We've been learning soccer, of course, but at the beginning of each game, we would spend 10 to 15 minutes learning about different subjects, ranging from identifying health habits to learning how to read food labels correctly, global warming solutions, recycling, and what makes Roosevelt Island really special. Recently, we've been discussing public safety and the work they do for our community. Not a lot of people thank public safety. It would be nice to get in a habit of when you see an officer to say hello. I know some of the students love to wave at them and smile. Um, so we've been discussing public safety and the work they do for our community in an effort to bridge the gap between the youth and PSD. Some of the students volunteered to write essays describing what they love about our beautiful island and appreciating the role of public safety, otherwise known as peace officers. It's an expression that the kids focused on a little bit. They love that because you're gonna hear from Saeem what's the difference between NYPD and public safety. The students were touched to hear that two officers passed away during the pandemic and I told them countless stories about uh, the late Chief McManus and his involvement in coaching soccer with me and his outreach to the community. Quite honestly, when I say that I've learned from, that I, I was teaching these students, the truth is I've learned more from them than I've taught them. I noticed a common uh, theme in their essays and that's the idea of public safety role as peace officers. My goal in doing this work has always been to continually create opportunities where kids connect with public safety officers in a positive and joyous way. I believe this will make our community stronger. Thank you for Chief Brown and Deputy Director Amoroso for making the time to meet our students and their families and caregivers. We all know each other a little bit better now. During the pandemic, the department worked hard to keep our community safe under difficult circumstances. And we really appreciate their work and the sacrifices of Detective Wayne Jones and Officer Carrie Fisher. And without further ado, please welcome Public Safety Chief Brown. school and my notes are at the elementary school level. <laughs> I'm honored and this is my pleasure to come to speak to the students and parents and faculty members of PS217. I've been the chief of Roosevelt Island Public Safety 
for about three years. However, prior to being the chief for the three, past three years, I was the deputy chief under one of the best men and the best chief that I ever could have worked for, the late Chief McManus. Working under Chief McManus taught me a lot of things about Roosevelt Island. And one of the things that he told me was that you had to be dedicated to your job. That Roosevelt Island is a special place and a place that, that we are a community. He forced the notion of community policing first and taking care of all of the individuals on the island and treating them that how you would treat your own family. Chief McManus was a very special person and he was dedicated to the job that he served as a chief of public safety. And when Chief McManus was no longer able to become the, be the chief of public safety department, I was then promoted to chief and took over for him. I, I promised Chief McManus that I will continue to be the chief in the same manner that he was because what he did worked for Roosevelt Island and it was successful. There was no other way to become and be the chief of a public safety department than being true to your word and being dedicated to the people of the island. The people of this island, especially the kids are special. So my story, where did I start and where did I come from? When I started at, after working in the New York City Police Department for 32 years, I then became the, chief, the deputy director of public safety. What was my goal of being a deputy director? And not only continuing what Chief McManus had started, but to make things a little bit better, get to know the people in the community, get out into the community and be a branch between law enforcement and the community. What does public safety do? What, why are we here? Our motto is community policing. And community policing is a dedicated partnership with the community. Why do we do it? Why is it that way? Because we believe that that's the only way that it's going to work. We believe that if you don't know the community and you're not in the community, that the community suffers. That law enforcement is here to be a partner and not someone that's coming from the outside. In my tenure as chief at public safety, we did go through the pandemic just as you have and just as all of us have. It was a trying time, but I worked with such dedicated men and women in the public safety department that when the pandemic hit, that they knew that they had a job to do. And their job was to take care of the residents, the visitors, and especially the students of PS217 and all the other people on this island. Without, without further uh, complicating the situation, we were here to help. There was only one way that we could help and that was to be present on the island. And we were here 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, Deep had mentioned that in the process we did, uh, unfortunately, two of our officers passed away during the pandemic due to COVID symptoms. It was a trying time for our department, but the men and women of public safety they kept on coming to work and they knew that they had their job to do of serving the people of this island. We will never stop. That is our motto, is that we will keep going, that we will keep serving, and that we will keep doing our job. I brought along with me two of my uh, assistants, my deputy director, uh, Emma Rosso, and one of my sergeants, uh, Sergeant Santana. Together, they, they, we comprise a team with all the other officers and all the other staff members at Public Safety. Our team is here to serve and protect all of the citizens of Roosevelt Island, and we will not stop. We will continue to be dedicated, and we will continue to serve you guys as best to our, of our ability. One of the great things about coming to speak before young people is that we were once young people ourselves. We can look back at the times when we were young and think, how was it that we learned from our law enforcement and our public safety departments? And we have to be there for you. We have to set, a, set ourselves as an example 
set ourselves as the friendly people in the community that will be here to help you at any term that you have. I thank you for having me here today. Thank you, Dean. Thank you, Chief Brown. And thank you for your hard work in maintaining the peace on our island. Um, I'm going to do uh, an adult and a student alternating. So, uh, yeah. so 